Kid, seriously. Hey, Luke. Hey, what? I saw a movie trailer. In fact, I saw two. But I'm going to turn it over to you to have us, to lead us through the conversation, if you'd be so kind. Oh, I would definitely be so kind. So Godzilla King of the Monsters released a trailer. And I am very curious to find out what you think about this. Because I, I realized when I was watching it and when we were kind of prepping to do it for the show, I have no idea what you think about monster movies in general, let alone Godzilla or King Kong. This is part of the King Kong Godzilla new shared universe so before we talk about anything specific to the the trailer like what do you think about monster movies and a godzilla movie coming out now anyway in general the internet this show and so much of my life has been about sharing my opinions about bringing to you in our friendship which has lasted what nearly 20 years yeah me bringing you my opinions and for the first time in the history of our friendship, what I will tell you is, I don't have an opinion <laughs> on monster movies. I have seen one monster movie. It was in my friend, my neighbor's house when I was in sixth grade. It was a 1960s version of Godzilla. I was impatiently waiting for that movie to end so we could go outside and play football, which is what I really wanted to do. I thought it was fine. It was, I don't even know which Godzilla or Mothra or Ultraman um, <laughs> it was. I am interested in monster movies, but have never cared enough to actually watch them. I think they could be fun. I, I, to be honest, this trailer has made me interested in the genre just to see if maybe I'd like it. But I just don't know, Luke. So I, monster movies. I, I like some of them. I, you know, King Kong is a movie that Mark and I watched a ton growing up, and I still have the original King Kong. It's It was my first ever... I have two movies I bought only digitally. One is King Kong and one is Infinity War. So I, I, I like these type of movies. I've never been a huge Godzilla fan, though I have seen a decent amount of them, and I've seen a decent amount of Gamera, the flying radioactive turtle, but I think this looks okay, and what my biggest problem is is with start over Godzilla movies is it's always Godzilla versus people, which I find very uninteresting. Like he's just a giant monster that stomps on people, and they they're gonna sh they're gonna shoot him with stuff. So I, I that's why I had no I didn't really have much interest in Rampage or that type of movie just because it looks it, you know it looked like a movie that was more about we we want to blow a city up than we want to have something fun or interesting happen with the monster. And part of the reason as an adult, I like the original King Kong is because King Kong feels like a real character that has motivations and, and, and love and all these other things. And he's actually kind of the victim of the whole thing. This, this movie looks good to me because this is the second in a series of Godzilla movies. They already did our here's Godzilla. Now we get to see him with other monsters and where he fits in and it's building to what I really want, which is a Godzilla King Kong crossover, which is going to be the next in these series. I did really like Kong Skull Island. So for you, I'd recommend start with Kong Skull Island if you're going to watch a monster movie because King Kong is much more fascinating and him being on his monster island is way more fun. And there's a, a sequence without really spoiling the movie where King Kong and Samuel L. Jackson have a stare down and it's amazing. Um, nice. But th this movie looks good and it... it to me, it interests me. It has an insanely good cast for a, a monster movie. You know, I love Vera Farmiga. I love Ken Watanabe. I mean, again, Coach Taylor's in there. Kyle Chandler is a part of it. You know, Millie Bobby Brown, CCH Pounder. There are good people in this movie, which also gives me more faith. You know, now the original had Brian Cranston, and I haven't seen it or the the first one in the series of Godzillas. But um, you know. I, I guess what it really comes down to is that I think this this trailer did nothing to move me in either direction. Like, it's just kind of blah. Um, so I think it just really falls into whatever you think of those type of movies. The people who like those type of movies will go see this. I don't feel like this would draw in anyone who isn't already inclined to go. 
I think you're really lucky that this wasn't the last segment in our other show where we talk about trivia, and that I wasn't asking the question, because you'd be wrong, because by definition, this movie trailer has made me interested, and I am, by definition, maybe the only person who has literally watched one monster movie, and the reason it does is because of what you said, it's because of the cast. But also, this trailer does something that you really like in trailers. It gives you a taste. It kind of sets the, the the first part of the movie up. And then doesn't really touch a lot of other stuff, I felt like. It doesn't seem like it gives too much away. And so... No, and we uh, just see shadows of the other Titans. Which which I agree is a great way to do it. I like it. I, I like the trailer. I'm interested in the movie. I think I will watch Kong Skull Island. I think I will watch Godzilla. Um, I mean, why not? I mean... My football season ended early, so... <laughs> well, l- let's end this part of the segment early, because let's get to what we really want to talk about, yeah. which is the the trailer for Jordan Peele's follow-up to his Oscar-nominated for Best Picture first film, Get Out. It's the trailer for us. It's La- Lapita Nyong'o and uh, Winston Duke. Maya, you're the horror expert on this show. Tell, tell us what you thought when you watched this trailer. I was freaking terrified. I was so scared because Lupita Nyong'o is probably has the greatest potential because she's one of the greatest actresses, but there was something about her acting crazy that was just like, I, I, I don't know if I can watch this movie. Like, I have to watch this movie. I may watch this movie in the theater, but like, holy crap, great cast, Lupita Nyong'o and the guy who played Mumbaku. Winston Duke. Movie. Yeah. Um, awesome cast. Some really great lighthearted moments where they're mixing the idea of now the the older generations listening to like rap as sort of like the golden oldies and sort of like uh, I just I love it when like when characters have that you don't you wouldn't expect to be like the the dad humor in that there was a lot of dad humor in it and I just I thought that was endearing but holy. Fuck, I was so scared. I was so scared. The, something about this, I, I it's the second scariest trailer I've ever seen. Next to what? Uh, Strangers. Okay. Yeah, that is a good trailer. So, so, yeah, I obviously love this. I am so excited. I thought Get Out was the, the best movie of, uh, was that last year or the year before? But yes, it, it, it was amazing. So... I, I'm 100% on board with anything that Jordan Peele was going to do in follow-up to that. And this looks like just as well made, but they kind of took the crazy to 11, which they don't necessarily do in Get Out. So I am very excited to see what this is. I think it also did a great job, as we kind of touched on in Godzilla. It introduced a concept, but I don't understand the concept. The concept of the, the second family, what that's about, what that means. So I'm very intrigued as well just to find out what that is and if it's anything like get out which i'm i'm sure it will be jordan peele makes movies or you know he's made one movie and it's about something it isn't just i'm going to set up a scary scenario for the sake of setting up a scary scenario he uses horror in the way horror is best used the same as sci-fi when you're you're have a message about something and you're using horror as a way to get that message across. So I am absolutely fascinated by this. There is not a movie and that includes Avengers end game uh, or anything else coming out next year that I am more excited to see than this movie. Are you making the assumption that he's, this is going to be a movie about a family or a group of people fighting themselves? Well, that, that's literally what it is, but I, you mean metaphorically probably, but I, I think there's going to be more, I think it's going to be m- deeper than that, and, and there'll probably be multiple things going on, but I, I don't know, you know, that's, and I'm intrigued, and he, he's someone who's earned, you know, the benefit of the doubt to me, that, um, yeah, I've... I, I don't entirely know, but man, I, I can't wait to find out. And, and as you said, Lupita Nyong'o is awesome. I would watch her do most anything. You know, the couple things I've seen Winston Duke in, he's been fun. You know, the trailer has that good mix of, of, of humor with then just utter terror. I, this is this is something that it's, almost looks tailor-made for me. Like, it's it looks awesome. Yeah, it does. I don't like horror, and I may see it in the theater. We'll go together because Jim doesn't go to horror movies with me. I don't want you to see me cry.